Hi everybody, with the addition to the new PAR3 tee boxes here at Foxfire, we have implemented a local rule that states that you have to take mandatory leaf from all PAR3 tee boxes. As you can see, we have put three golf balls out and we're going to go into depth of how to take free relief from each one. So as you can see here, we're on number nine blue and my golf ball has landed on the top corner of one of these par three tee boxes. So I need to take my free relief. And in order to do that, I have to find my nearest point of full relief without any other abnormal ground impeding my swing or stance. So to take your free relief, we gotta use the club that you're gonna hit the next shot with. So I'm gonna be hitting my eight iron. And what I wanna do is I wanna take my stance to where it is, my stance or swing is not impeding the tee box. So what I'll do first, I'm gonna mark my golf ball, and then I gotta find a couple points where I think is gonna be the closest to where I'm taking my relief from. Now, as you can see, if I come this way, I'm gonna to have to go a long way to get off of the car path. And this is why we chose number nine blue, because the car path comes into play and we're taking relief on this side of the golf course. So my, I believe my full relief is gonna be on this side. And again, got to get off the car path. And I got to make sure that my stance is not going to be on the bank of the tee box. So right here. So that is my nearest point of relief. Now to, to take the proper drop, we're going to use the longest club in our in our golf bag, excluding the drive, excluding the putter. The driver is going to be your longest club. I'm going to take my one club length. And now I can drop in this semicircle from knee height. And now my ball is in play. Here we are again on number nine blue. And as you can see, my golf ball has found the bank of one of these new par three tee boxes that have been installed here at Foxfire. Now, if you notice, when I go to take my stance here, my feet are on the car path as well. So now I'm gonna to have to take full relief from the car path. So what I wanna do is mark my ball. I'm gonna to come to this side of the car path, take my stance, Now right there is going to be my nearest point of relief off of that tee box and off of the car path. So again, we're going to go with the longest club in our bag, which is the driver. I'm going to take my one club length, no closer to the hole. Whenever we take free relief, we can never move closer to the hole. So we're going to drop from knee height. And now my ball is in play. One. And here's a third scenario if our golf ball is on one of the banks of the par three tee boxes. We again, we're taking mandatory free relief. First thing I'm gonna do is mark the place where my ball is on the tee box or on the side of the tee box. And if you notice, we can't go backwards because we'll end up on the tee box. So there's really no place for us to drop this way. So we're gonna have to find our nearest point of relief again, which in this case, we're gonna take our stance. Again, we can't go close to the hole. We gotta stay the same distance or it's gonna be a little bit further from the hole in some cases. I'm gonna take my stance with the club that I'm gonna hit. And now again, we're gonna pretend this is the driver. Go one club length. No closer to the hole. There's my mark. I'm going to drop from the knee. And now my ball is in flight.